everyone, this is Amber and I'm working in collaboration with Kayla and Jen. We have the pleasure of introducing you to the Libraries Transform campaign and its resources. Visit ilovelibraries.org slash libraries transform to create an account and access these resources. A question to think about as I describe the about section. Which campaign objective do you think is most important and why? The about page gives background information including campaign objectives, selected audiences, campaign messages, components of a campaign, strategies for a campaign, and library champions. The objectives for the campaign are increasing awareness and support of the library, changing perception of the library as an obsolete institution to an essential part of the community, and energizing library staff to renew their advocacy efforts. Next, we come to the audiences. The website provides resources for the general public and current library supporters. The key messages include the ideas that libraries transform lives and communities. Libraries are passionate about lifelong learning and are a smart investment. Lastly, libraries are more about what they do with and for people rather than what they have for people. On this page, we also see important aspects of the campaign, which include branding through because statements, a digital present using the hashtag libraries transform, and cohesive implementation strategies at the local, state, and national levels. The great thing about this website is you don't have to come up with our own strategies, plans, or slogans. We have a whole support system through this website in implementing the campaign. The website gives strategies for making the most of the campaign and encourages libraries to utilize other ALA resources and members. The last thing on this page that you will find is a list of library champions. These are organizations that support the library. Their monetary support keeps the library transform resources free for us to use. Hey guys, this is Kayla and I'm going to walk you through the Get Involved tab and the Trends tab. So if you click on the Get Involved tab, it will bring up a whole page of ways that anyone, librarians or those who don't work at a library, can help spread the word about the importance of libraries and how they're transforming communities. Um, it starts with um, this information on support your local library. Um, it has some pretty easy, what we might consider basic tips, but it starts with get a library card, um, join your friends group. So these are tips that you can share with people who don't necessarily work in a library, but who still want to support their local library. The Get Involved page also allows you to download the Libraries Transform year to report. And so this is from September 1st, 2016 through August 31st, 2017. And it is a 12 page downloadable PDF that gives an overview of the Libraries Transform initiative, including participating libraries, success stories, and information about the toolkit. There are some Twitter feeds that you can read. There's also a pretty cool link where you can share your story. Um, you just click here and fill out a form where you can tell the story of your library transforming your community. There's a cool map um, where you can click on um, libraries. These are the libraries in the US that are participating in the Libraries Transform campaign. You click and it will show you that library. So that's pretty cool. You can see there are lots of libraries participating in the US. Moving down the page, there are web banners that you can download and use. And there's also um, an area entitled Learn More, where you can watch and share the Aspen Institute Dialogues video that shows the ways public libraries are transforming communities. So now on to the trends page, 
and it's really exciting, really cool. It um, identifies trends relevant to libraries and librarians, and um, there are all kinds of trends, not just technical ones like you might um, expect. But you click on a trend, let's say basic income, that's something that I had never heard of. You click on it, and it brings up information on this topic that you probably aren't familiar with. And it has a short article to read. It also, at the bottom, has some resources that you can link to more information so that you can learn about the trends that might be affecting you and your patrons. Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and I am working in collaboration with Amber and Kayla to introduce to you the Library Transform web resource. And over there I have Lola, she's hanging out with me right now. So I wanna start on this Real Stories page. Um, this page is really neat because it's just a place where everyone around the nation, whoever's on this campaign, can share their library story. Um, these first stories uh, are just really the tip of the iceberg. You can click the Read More Libraries Transform Stories and access a lot more. Um, and here we have another link um, to the Tell Us Your Story, and you can share your story when you and or your library story um, with the campaign. So what I like about this page too is that it includes TED Talks because it's another way that people in the field are sharing their story and helping to spread the word, um, word that uh, libraries really do transform life um, and they really do make an impact in their community. And this is how. Um, so this is a really great page just filled with information. And at the bottom, we have articles. And so you just can click on an article that interests you. Neil Gaiman's, you know, a really fantastic author and a really great activist. Um, and just explore this content. So then the bulk of what I would say this page is, um, this, this campaign is, is this, is this toolkit section. And it's got a lot of info, so it's even got like 11 hot links right here just to take you to the different sections. But this about is similar to the about tab that Amber explored earlier. Um, this just goes into a little bit more detail about what's going on, what, um, what, what the goals are of the campaign and how to enact those in your library, in your community. And um, the target audience section, I think, is really great because as you're planning and formulating your campaign, you can really get down and, and into the details and think about, like, what message do you want to send to what, what, what people? Like, what do you need from friends of the library and your volunteers? Is that different than your patrons? Um, and it probably should be. Uh, and so you can just really think about that, and it just gives you some great ideas. Maybe someone you haven't thought about. And we have key messages, so I'm going to kind of just scroll right over that because I want to talk about launching a campaign. I really like this section. Um, it's actually not that long. You would think that the launching campaign section would be lengthy, but um, it's really just some quick ideas to help think you creatively about what you're going to do with this campaign. How do you want it? to come alive in your library, in your community, and how do you want to take that message to the people? And um, the next section that I really wanna talk about is um, this uh, 10 ways for libraries to get involved. It's a really great, like just short list of like how to take this, this trans Libraries Transform brand and put it into work. And then, um, I love this, another great uh, message, constant woo right there. And then at the bottom of the page, we just have downloadable graphics. So really it's just things that are gonna help you get started right away to spread the word, um, anything you might like. So it's got all these because statements, it's got the logos going on there. Um, and you can just really like, create your own, you can put them into your 
your library web page. You can print them out. You can hand them out. You can mail them out. Just whatever's going to work for you in your community. So hopefully you guys make profiles, sign up, explore the resource. It's really great. Um, and just check out and see what it has for you. Hi, it's Amber again. The final page that we're going to cover is the Because, because page. It's the first tab on the website. It is a great page because it tells you all the different campaign because statements that have been submitted. Because statements are the heart of the campaign. As you scroll through the statements, you will see the benefits for adults, children, youth, technology, learning, and so much more. Some examples that I liked were because Eureka moments happen here. Because learning starts before kindergarten and my absolute favorite, because texts are fine, but seriously, people also need to see real sentences. The because statements are something you can make yourself as well. So what is your because statement? We look forward to hearing your thoughts and thank you for joining us for this Libraries Campaign website tour.